In this tutorial, we will learn the different methods to print a large number in Python and the contrast between printing integers or float in those situations. Python by default prints an approximation in the case of float numbers. Most people do not need that much precision, so this is to keep the number of digits manageable by displaying a random value instead. Here's an example. We copy this large float number and we press enter in the idle chair we're going to get 0 0.1 and, not, and ignore the rest, of the, the rest of the numbers. To tell you the truth, most programmers that don't work with accounting or mathematical application do not bother to understand why printing large no float or integer numbers is an issue in Python. They simply don't have any. In the case of integers, those types of numbers don't have any kind of limitation when printing large numbers they can be as large as memory is available. We will try to print this, this operation. We get this result. The problems are stars when we try to print large float numbers. Like this, like this one. It says result too large. The reality is that Python floats are neither of unlimited size and don't have an arbitrary precision by default. Meaning there is a size limit based on the system it is running. Most common 32 or 64 bytes. That restriction does not apply to integers or stream. Let's set the number you are working are large but not large enough to produce an error, like this one. Well, it, it prints a summary because the number is still too high. The print function standard limitation can be circumvented using the following method. Method 1, convert floats to integers. Python displays a random value to keep the number of digits manageable. It shows float up to 16 digits of precision. One method to get all the numbers is to convert the result to float using the, the int function. So if we try to print the x again, but using the x the int function, we will, we will get this, the, this result. This is the correct number converted to, to integer. On all the version of Python, the long function can be used to get the identical result. The second method is to convert the float to decimal using the decimal model. In cases like accounting and high precision application, where printing the exact decimal representation is needed, we can use the, the decimal model. For that, we're going to import the decimal model using this line. Ah, wait. Sorry, we got a space. Oh, see. Import. Then we're going to see decimal point from the score float x. And here is the result. This is the exact same result. This model is designed to work in the same way as arithmetic is taught at school. It provides support for fast correl correlated rounded decimal floating point arithmetic, even on large numbers. The third method, uh, another way to print large float number is to is supported by the fraction model, which is implementing arithmetic based on rational numbers. So numbers like one tenth can be represented exactly. For that, we're going to store, import the fraction. Then we're going to say fraction x, and here's the result. Also, Python has a method to deliver the set value of a float as a fraction. It's called the float point as integer ratio. This is the way you should do x point, and you click enter, and this is the result. We hope this brief tutorial helped you understand better the weight of printing large integers and float number and the limitation of each. Have a wonderful day.